Hi everybody, welcome to Gunfire Reborn. My name is Mikey Doves, and we are starting with Lay Low from Reincarnation 1. Let's get started here. So we're not starting from absolutely ground one in this game. We're, I've, I've played this game through Reincarnation 8 with this character and another character, which was the highest difficulty when I stopped playing. I'm not sure if it goes any further, but I'm picking it back up starting at Reincarnation 1, which is basically this like the base game, and then you start going for like the higher and higher difficulties when nothing else changes. That being said, you can change what season you play like from an in-game menu, kind of like Borderlands 3, how you can change your event. I realized you can change your season, and I saw that this season, the Arcane Ascension season, gave you more buffs. So I was like, I'll take that one instead of having to go against the super tough demonized enemies from the current season. So I'm going to be playing Arcane Ascension Season. I'm going to be going for a Reincarnation 8, 1 through 8, with all the characters, probably. And I'm going to start with Lay Low for now, because it's the most comfortable character that I have. So let's go ahead and read these, and then decide which one we want to take. All right, Thunderstep. After using the dash, unleash a bolt of lightning on the nearest two enemies within 25 meters. Dealing 300 lightning damage plus 300% base damage for each arcane jade obtained. Enhance the next primary skill up to 3 stacks with every 160 meters moved and release an overcharged thunder plus 400% total damage of overcharged thunder and cause 2 seconds imprisoning. You know what? Let's just take that one because that makes a lot of sense with the build that I think I'm going to be trying to go for. Okay, so for our enhancements, I kind of want to take the one that spreads more thunder dots. That being said, this one that says thunder, uh, summon a thunderbolt to strike a target when chain lightning only hits one enemy sounds pretty sick. But I'm, instead, I'm, I am still going to take this elemental effect chance of chain lightning increases to 50%. Because I think it's the most beneficial to apply lightning dots on characters. Uh, let's pick our reincarnation buff. Let's go. We're going to probably refresh these ones. None of these boosts. This one says there's a 20% chance for any scroll to become their enhanced version, which is kind of meh. And I could be getting something like crazy cool, like Thunder and Glory for each uh, fa minus 50% fatal current cooldown, which is my main skill. And for each enemy hit by Thunderbolt, plus 40% base damage for the next Thunderbolt up to 10 seconds. For, for 10 seconds, which is crazy good. So we seem to get some Thunderbolts coming in. And we're looking for... Elemental weapons. I think the scorching rounds might be what I'm looking for. I think the lightning blast is really fun, too But I don't want to double down on shock. Let's go ahead and take The fire gun. So yeah, I, again, I'm not starting from ground zero You guys will be catching up as we go along But essentially you can do your basic controls move jump. There's a dash in this game, but there's no sprint. Oh, thanks trap Get rocked but there's a lot of new stuff in this game. I want to play a lot of the new stuff. Okay, the traps have stopped. I'm just, I was waiting for that trap to do something, but it wasn't doing anything. But when I uninstalled this game to make room on my hard drive one day, back in the day, when I came back, all of my files were gone. All of my progress through Reincarnation 8 was gone. And that first thing I thought was, that's no big deal. Like, it's a great game, I'll just push. And I'd have realized how hard the grind was to get all the skills for all the characters, at least the ones that I owned. Preemptive Strike plus 50% weapon damage if magazine is full. I mean, that makes a lot of sense to me. I'm probably shooting from them full mag a lot of the time. Did I miss anything up here? Doesn't look like it. So, I had a choice to make. It's like, okay, do I start from absolute scratch, or do I go download someone else's file online? Because people posted it for this exact reason. And I found a file that had up to Reincarnation 3 unlocked. Now, I didn't have Reincarnation 3 unlocked with every character, I don't think. I, I was probably up to at least Reincarnation 4 on most characters. Again, Reincarnation 8 on Lay Low and the, and the Explosive Dog was my total progression. And Lay Low, of course, being li Lightning Doggo, Lightning Cat, whatever. Third time unlucky, plus 50% weapon damage. Obtain one curse scroll for every three mysterious chests you open. No. <laughs> I do not want to obtain curse scrolls. Although you can purge curse scrolls from your deck. This is like a deck builder. It has a lot of Slay the Spire elements. All right, we need good luck with the curse goblets. Let's do a quick um, spin around. 
and let's see supercharge this is a good skill gain 20 percent max shield for five seconds after chain lightning deals damage and recharge six shields for each chain lightning hit that's really strong lightning governors also it's this is like an engine piece for us this is what makes the build possible during fatal current inflict chain lightning within two bounces on random enemies within 20 meters every one second so anytime we enter enter our fatal current which is like just a buff phase where we're basically lilith from borderlands one we kind of just like walk around um but we're not invisible once while we're walking around and waiting to do our, our thunder shot at the end we'll be doing damage the whole time with lightning governor or hypercurrent which increases chain lightning damage these are all really good options but these two have much higher priority than hypercurrent i think hypercurrent is really nice for the early game but these two are engine pieces lightning strike is your primary defense but lightning governor is your primary offense i think i'm gonna go a little bit of offense to start you know I'm sorry. It is what it is. I know that that defensive skill was right there, and I might not ever see it again, and that's just how the cookie crumbles sometimes. But now, during Fatal Current, I will always have this chain, and that is important, because a lot of our, our, our build relies upon these chains. This gun! Holy cow! The Scorching Rounds. I was... I, I This is not my first attempt at this recording. I tried to push through this. That's why my gameplay is a little bit cleaner. It probably was last round. All right, let's, let's get going. Also, getting those extra buffs is going to be in crazy fun. Because I was fighting some pretty tough enemies. I think a bone dragon makes a lot of sense. Sorry to the wheel saw. I'm going to go bone dragon. It's, it's just got a sick name. It's got Kazar, I think, right? Yeah. That's kind of cool. I see the vault to my left. Don't worry about it. Bone dragon. <laughs> I love that gun. Holy cow. The little foundry action. In this game, you cannot get rid of your starter pistol. You have a starter pistol. It's uh, it's called the Foundry. It's right here. See, look at that. Look at that passive damage. That's going to be the entire build. Is where are you, where are you going? Is passive damage. Okay. I might turn off my sensitivity a little bit. I turned it down a second before. All right. We'll spin to win. Okay. Voltaic Aegis is really strong. And so was Foam and a Zap. Okay, so these are, again, we're going to choose between offense and CC or defense. I'm going to go for defense. I'm going to try to get Fatal Currents going on for a long time, and that's going to that's gonna help synergize with that. Let's go try to obtain an Occult Scroll. These are side objectives that you do not need to do, but if you get lucky and it's this one, and you're a professional like me you don't really have to worry about it my friends when they go through these th i mean i take i still take damage from these kind from this one from time to time plus f plus 40 percent weapon damage and skill damage for 10 seconds upon being it or taking damage that's just incredible the extra skill damage is going to be great but i play the lightning doggo the lightning the lightning cat i'm fast you get movement speed inside fatal current so now inside fatal current i'm going to be getting more shields uh, damage resistance, so Second wave is coming in and my fatal current cooldown is gonna be very low because of the thunder clash uh, Reincarnation ascension thing I took so my build's gonna be very much like Darth Sidious like if it, imagine the end game end game fantasy of this build Darth Sidious Where you can you can damage me I'm vulnerable, but I'm all-out attack but I have shields that protect me if, if I can get my defense up and running. If I can get, you know, like Slay the Spire, you know? Some, sometimes you go for enhanced uh, sh strikes, and sometimes you go for enhanced block. And if you're playing like a Spellcaster class, you know, sometimes you want to get your energy orbs up and stuff like that. It's it's a roguelite. It's a very traditional roguelite, and it, it couldn't be, you know... I don't think you can improve upon this model a whole lot more. Okay, let's check out what this... I think this is a, a a cursed chest. Magic potions for a stronger physique come before everything is taken. Okay. Choose the red magic potion. I get gold and I gain max HP. Or the blue magic potion. I give gold and I gain max shield and armor. I think I'm going to be synergizing more with shield and armor. I'm going to pay the extra cash it takes. Whoa. Hey, lads. 
So the chain lightnings that spawn in inside of Fatal Current don't bounce until I get extra bounces from uh, gauntlets. So for right now, it's just going to be one. Like zap, zap, zap. Which is interesting to think about because I could be calling thunder strikes down on those enemies if I took that one reincarnation bonus. But I wanted, the, I want the extra lightning, lightning effect chance. It's, it's really important to be able to apply shock at, on a moment's notice. Shock gives you a lot of things. It gives you access to crowd control if you if you apply a fire dot and it gives you access to max hp tr true damage um max hp burn true damage if you apply a corrosive dot so it's nice, nice to have it all right deft hands shooting won't consume any ammo for the next two seconds after killing an enemy or destroying an item we will go ahead and buy that i'm looking for something corrosive that can fire from range the prism can can do it I think I will buy it and I will replace my bone dragon. Okay, I'll see y'all later. Oh, gauntlet. Let's go. And we get, I definitely, before I fight an elite, I definitely want to open up this gauntlet. Okay, what do we get? We get supercharged level one, which is important. And voltage surge or voltage surge and thunder turbo are more for like a, more for like a, High, highly accurate, but also highly high DPS style gun build. Well, I'm going to be going for more of a supercharge, gain 20% max shields for five seconds after chain lightning deals damage, and recharge six shield for each chain lightning hit. That's a very, very powerful defense tool. It's the one that we wanted to get before, and it came back for us. So my shield's at 132. It started at 100. It's at 132 now. It just it just gains so much, and it regens. Oh, it armored. Huh. So, so this is when this is why we bring a corrosive gun right here so that we can shred bosses enter it we get we get a whole bunch of air effect damage so now that he's now that he is shocked i can apply my asthma i've got three stacks on i don't want to lose it i want to reapply shock if i can so let's get let's try, try to get chain lightning on him Okay, and now start going for my asthma. I could have been probably DPSing that whole time, but I, want, I needed to apply shock to him. I have all my chain lightnings back. Let's go for a shock. There we go. Apply my asthma. Only I didn't get too many stacks there, but I can keep it going. Four stacks. Keep it going, goodbye. More stacks. Okay, he, that, that's decent. So my asthma, the more stacks I have, the more true damage burn I get. Maximum HP, true damage burn. That's gonna be our our method of shredding bosses, but there's much better weapons than the prism to get that job done. I like the fire scale. And it's plus 50% weapon damage against enemies in a shock effect, which is a really nice synergistic skill. Against the flow, recover 15% ammo to the magazine every second for four seconds after dealing damage to an enemy. Cool. When the effect ends, instead losing instead lose one random type of ammo from reserves every second. Oh, that's kind of strange. Like it makes your it makes your ammo work better from the bottom. I'm gonna recycle it, but it's kind of I maybe should have taken it just for the experience of of trying it. But now we get an occult scroll, which is sick. A choice of occult scrolls, very cool. Arcane jade. Jade contains mysterious power. Pick up to select one of two arcane ascensions. That's that's the one from the beginning. Okay. Hawkeye Sight, 2.0x crit damage. However, minus 50% weapon damage when not triggering a crit. Okay, understood. Curiosity Box, randomly get one to three occult scrolls when picking up this scroll. Extremely small chance of obtaining curse scrolls. I think the Curiosity Box is the best, but I want to go Arcane Jade probably. So we get to choose between Thunderous Wrath or Electric Spark. Lightning's imprisonment of duration becomes four seconds plus 80% damage to dealt damage dealt to imprisoning enemies or plus 2% movement speed for each bolt of lightning released lasts for 10 seconds up to 25 stacks plus one skill damage for every 1% extra movement speed. I think electric spark makes a lot of sense. Spec movement speed spec 
yeah. spec damage. I like it. All right, enter our offense form. Wait to see, wait to see it go down to the very last second. And I can now apply confusion to enemies or explosion or something like that. We've got no more grenages. And I can also just swap to, to my asthma here. That'll help out way more. Okay, what did we get? A standard bow? I'm good without it. Come on, apply the effect. Okay, now I get a little bit of fire going. Hopefully I can get some shock on this, on this laddie right here, I guess. Come on, give me a little bit of my asthma, please. It's a little bit of my asthma, just a tiny bit. I'm asking for a, a small, a small bit, a droplet. Thank you. <laughs> there we go. It's going to be very important for us. We're actually on full HP, so I'm honestly, I feel kind of good about it. Okay. You're gone, homie. Sorry. Okay, I'm going to try to use those barrels to my advantage at some point here. Applying the shock effect at a, a relatively good rate, you know. Get my asthma going on, on just about everybody. Lay low is kind of the other half of the base character in this game, where the base character in this game gets a corrosive grenade that you can throw at people, or poison, whatever you want to call it. You got you to gotta stop what you're doing, and you got to get my asthma. You too, homie. All right, is anybody else left? Yeah, up, there, up top. Okay, as long as we get my asthma on him, he should go down. Yes, I got this. I got the corrosive effect. Good. A lot of damage coming from this miasma, but we, we go down to zero health. Definitely want to get our shields back a little bit so we don't take any, any HP damage. Then we can go in the, back in the aggressive. Very sick. Very sick. Decent round. All right, up some parkour for your lad. How do we get up there? Let's see. It's up here. Can't jump. But yeah. Cooling down. Okay, well now we're up. I'm not sure if that's the way you're supposed to get up there. That felt very buggy. Look at the, all this valuable stuff. Give 35 search for an enhanced. For, what does this say? Give 35 essence. Search for an enhanced occult scroll. Okay. Obtain an enhanced occult scroll. Extra supplies. Killing an enemy grants extra coppers and extra chance to receive supply for secondary skill. Yeah, that sounds great. I would love more uses of my secondary skill. It's enhanced as well. What is the enhanced effect? Enhanced effect. I'm not too sure. Might just be better odds. Or maybe a secondary effect. Okay, Golden Goblet, we do a spin. Okay, so this is a tough choice. Lightning Governor 2 is really, really good. But Tesla Coil is really important as well. But I think Lightning Governor 2 is going to be, if we can get it maxed out, if we can get Lightning Governor maxed out, we're going to be a game changer right now. The gun we're looking for from this vendor Porcupine. Okay, the dual fang might be a little bit better at applying dots than the prism. Definitely going to be buying this elemental cube. That's huge for us. Mm. I, I think I will go the dual fang. That way we can apply all three elements. And let's actually upgrade it a couple times. I don't need to add inscriptions. I will enhance though yeah. a couple times. I want to be able to get through this boss. Let's go. Woo! First boss in the channel. Bring it on, Rockman. Oh, he's got green eyes. Are we seem to get lightning on him? Block it with the rocks. Hey, uh, would you mind? Uh, I might have to get a little bit closer so I can get. There we go. There we go. He's getting my asthma now. Oh, I took damage there. Not good. But yeah, I think he's taking my asthma stacks now. Yeah, look at the burn damage come in. 
Okay, surely he's, he's lightning affected. He is. Oh, I'm taking a lot of damage now. Oh my gosh. Okay, I get one revival per round. I was, I was too focused on trying to do more D DPS, and I stopped focusing on what I had to do to kill the boss. That's my bad. Okay, let's go ahead and shoot these out of this guy. Can be a little bit more effective for us. He's gonna give us more rocks to dodge his attack. Out of this guy ain't a problem for me. Supply a crows of dots. Guarantee apply a crows of dot. And then hope. Oh, this is a tough attack to dodge. That's the big one. That's one that hurts. Yep, and we go down. Oh, that's tough. All right, let's run it back. Every good journey starts with a little adversity. Okay, we're jumping right into reincarnation after not playing the game in a long time. Honestly, the fact that we even made it to the first boss was a miracle. All right, so let's read the second elemental arcane ascension to see if it's what we want to use. Release a random elemental pulse at the location of a target and deal 600 elemental damage with a 30% chance to trigger elemental effect. Cooldowns 10 seconds. 600% base damage and chance to cause elemental effect for each obtained arcane jade. Cooldown for each time an elemental effect is triggered, this effect can trigger a maximum of once every 0.5 seconds. So is this like, this looks like a... Like a like a an active ability, but I'm gonna go to the one that I had last time, and I am going to go for the summon of thunderbolt to strike the target when chain lightning only hits one enemy. I'm not gonna have as big of a or as big of a chance to do lightning shocks and enemies, but it should give me a little bit more damage. Talisman? I'm pretty sure the talisman is good, right? Yeah, it's all elements. It's a pretty interesting gun. Might go for Foundry to start here, but... I'm, I'm a Foundry kind of sore myself. I, I have to try to take the Foundry all the way through. But if the one gun we're looking for primarily is the, is the Porcupine. It's a, it's a corrosive damage uh, shotgun that can apply Miasma with any of its shots. Later, kid. Okay, let's see. Double caliber. We don't have anything that slots, so let's put it in. There's some more enemies around the corner here, yeah. Oh, look at that damage coming out when I only hit one enemy with it. So nice. My single target DPS is gonna go through the roof here, I think. Took a little bit of damage there. I don't wanna take any more. Whoa, there's a second one there. Ooh, got a little bit backed up into a corner. There's like an overlapping model. Okay. Starting to get a little bit into the groove though. I, I, I kind of, I'm feeling it come a little bit back and here we go, boom. Fatal current. Hey, would you look, it's the three skills that we need. Or we go lightning governor. There we go, look at, look at that. Boom, boom, that's, that's, that's the skill that we took in the beginning. That's its work, boom. You, you see what I'm saying? So if it only hits one target, which is doing it a lot of the time, it summons a thunderbolt. Boom on him. Greedy choice provides one opportunity to pick up all three occult scrolls in a treasure chest at once. The occult scrolls cannot be discarded, and after the selection of opportunities are exhausted, greedy choice will automatically be destroyed. It cannot be discarded. I I'll take it. I'm not too sure what it's talking about. Like I'm trying to understand its utility i think it's something that we're gonna have to go check out the occult scrolls at like a, a triple occult scroll box i think that's where we're gonna see the effects of that gotta get a little bit closer Let's try to get some lightning strikes there we go there's my th thunder bring that thunder oh my gosh it's so good all right phantom peddler what you got for me porcupine porcupine Hmm, the star, the expanded star rank seems kind of cool. Well, what does veracity and howl do, though? This gun gives me veracity and howl. Kind of cool sounding, but I'm not going to pay blue essence for it, I don't think. 
Okay. What do we got over here? Oh, we got a fire glove. Let's take the fire glove. I like the fire glove. Okay. Start zapping. I wish there was double jump. Ow, ow, ow. Okay, we'll back into it. And we go down instantly because we're taking too much damage. Okay, backing on up. Okay, I don't I didn't want more than one life anyway. Doesn't make it feel like an actual roguelite. So we just gotta give it up in the very beginning. Okay, get, get wrecked, kid. Now nah, we're talking. I need to better utilize my thunderbolt that I get at the end of Fatal Current. I mean to make sure I take that last shot before it ends. That's what that it's hurting my DPS a lot not doing that. Alright, something decent here. Supercharge. Or Voltaic Aegis. Mm. I like them both. I'm going to go Voltaic Aegis. They're both good defensive skills for the build. I need to land my shots. I don't want to take too much damage, though. Oh, he's immortal. Save me. Save me. Hit somebody. There we go. I think I got a lightning bolt strike off. Perfect. Hey, I don't think we took any damage there. That was sick. Let's go. Okay. Ye almighty spirits from the underworld, I summon thee. A pray for power. Lose 75% current HP and get a random scroll. <laughs> don't tell me twice. I'll just find some buns. Long shot. Increase weapon damage when you hit enemies further away from you. Yeah, sure. You know what? Fine. Whatever. Not worth the HP I lost. But it's, it's, what, it's what we get. Okay, I'm trying to... I'm trying to use my chain lightning from around the walls. And it's just... It's just not how it's designed. You know? It, it's a pretty... It's pretty clear that they don't want me to be doing it that way. Okay. I'm playing a little aggressive here. Okay, mortal or something. I should be getting some big thunder strikes though. Thunder! Okay, it's almost over. I gotta make sure I use it. Zap. Let's get into the get into the habit of always shooting at the last second. Do I really want to go in there with this much HP? Let's try to see if I can get myself some bones. Topping this guy up. There we go. Because I can't just sit there taking damage from him. They're ranged, you know. Melee, melee foes, a lot easier to deal with. There we go. So I can just sit there just looking at him. Ow, ow, ow. Can I get some, uh, some buns, please? Are you guys down to give me some bones? Zap from afar. Okay, who else we got? Got you. Got you with the thunderbolt, though. Whoa! Don't hit me. Zap. Hey, we did it! And buns! Let's go! That's sick. Okay, so we're gonna get our gauntlet. We're gonna go back. Phantom Peddler, how about a porcupine for your lad? No porcupine. That's tough. That's tough of you. Okay, let's see. Lightning Governor 2. Probably what I want to do. Lightning Governor 2. Where are you? The Wild Hunt. Wait, what? It says, that is crazy. The wild one, it says, press the fire button to trigger the first shot and release to trigger the second. That's kind of cool, actually. That's a really cool gun. I like that. Boom, boom. All right, let's go fight a boss. I just gave up my miasma by throwing away my talisman, but it is what it is. Fire spear thrower. I have access to a fire gun here, and I also have access to the the wild hunt. Okay, we're getting we want to get more more uh, thunder strikes on this guy. Oh, he doesn't want the trust me, he does not want the wild hunt. I can oh, but guarantee you that. Oh gosh, spread some spread the wealth, spread the wealth. Oh, you want to get wild hunted? Is that what it is? 
I gotta make sure I'm using my dash more often. Spread the wealth around. Spread the wealth around. Hit the barrel. Did I get a hit? Oh, you're imprisoned, homie. Well, how do you like that, huh? Come on, spread that wealth around. Everybody gets a little zap. Everybody gets a little zappy poop. Yes. Let's go. Okay. Cavalry sounds pretty cool. I gave the wild hunt a chance. It just wasn't putting out the deeps. Let's go a little cavalry action. I, so I should be able to get all three of these, correct? Yeah. If I pick up and hold it. Got it. But I want that one. This one's fine. What's this one? Okay. Well, um, I'm going to, I'm going to hold on to it. I'm going to hold on to it because those three weren't the absolute best for me, at least. I don't necessarily care so much about the ammo. What's up here? Peddler. Porcupine me? Okay, Aura of Venom, I think, is going to be is gonna be just fine. Let's get rid of our cavalry. Shield recovery will not be stopped, but minus 50% recovery speed. I like that overwhelming shield. Sounds really good. Plus 50% movement speed and plus 50% damage when your shield and armor is zero. Plus 300% shield rest time before recharging. It has anti-synergy with what I just took. I'm not, I can't take it. Okay. And Phantom Peddler, you didn't have a porcupine, did you? No. All right, let's get out of here. This boss is completely within our grasp. Oh, you didn't want some of that work, did you? I need some more, some more bolts to the last moment and shoot. Oh, no, no shock. That's why you take the extra the shock effect chance. Because that way you can actually use miasma. But I'm going to be kind of going a little bit miasmaless, A little bit. Which is tough. But I wanted to have a, a better engine in the early game. A better single target damage engine in the early game. Guaranteed damage as long as I only hit one enemy with a chain lightning. That's really not bad. And because my AoE is so good, it won't take that long to get to that mode right there. See that? And because I'm going to be doing more lightning effects, I feel like by quantity, we're going to make up for the extra loss. I like this gun a lot. I'm going to pick it up. Definitely mortars the gun I use to, to cheese the game with the explosive doggo. Oh, I think it's shock too. Maybe not. Give you a little bit of that. Well, I'm actually kind of vulnerable in my current position. Look at that, dudes, baby. The Thunderstrike comes down and they just get messed up. That's is so, such good damage for the early game. Look at this. When it actually procs though, right? Wow, that definitely mortar though. Thank you very much. And we should be able to one shot him. There we go. Spread the wealth around. Spread the wealth. There's a bun right in front of me. I like that a lot. Actually, this character with the Deafening Mortar was the cover of the game for a long, long time. All right, so Lightning Governor 3, I think that we just immediately take it. So not only is my Chain Lightning going off faster, but if, kills an, if this one kills an enemy, it adds one second to the active Fatal Current duration. Which is awesome. I don't know how much it's going to actually be... Um, Killing enemies, though, is the thing. Because it's mostly the, thund the thunder that comes down. But I think as we go, it becomes stronger and stronger. So I think I'm okay with with where we're at now. feel a little bit better about this one than I felt about the last one. And we're going for quantity over quality when it comes to status effect chance. There, okay, I got the shot off at the, in the right amount of time. I can probably get some miasma going on this guy. Let's see. One, two, three, three tries on that one. Didn't get it. So I'm going to take the shot here soon. Try to get some miasma going, maybe. So one stack is, is good. One stack is good. And that's a pretty easy, easy boss there. And he drops me a golden goblet. Come on now. So electric circuit. Chain lightning connects all targets 
hit and completes a circuit, dealing 40% damage of your next shot to all connected targets. Interesting. Very interesting. Tesla coil, plus two bounce and plus two max capacity for chain lightning. Or Fulmina Zap, plus 200% damage of Thunderbolts summoned by Fatal Current and minus 80% movement speed of the enemy hit by Thunderbolt. I wonder if this Thunderbolt counts. I'm gonna go Tesla Coil. Give me some more AoE. Elemental Relic, plus 50% elemental damage for 10 seconds whenever you kill an enemy affected by elemental effect. Very cool. You're getting stronger and stronger. Okay, we're, we have a chance to get all three of these Gold Scrolls in here, so let's try to grab them all. Let's get stronger and stronger. Lightning Doggo. Okay, the Jade, the Rational Consumption. So there is a downside to this event, and it's this Jade component. This, this could be an Occult Scroll. Plus 80% skill damage. Every time you purchase from the Peddler, lose 5% skill damage. Will not drop below zero. That's great. Plus 40% weapon damage and skill damage for 10 seconds. Oh my god, these are all great. Let's pick them all up. There we go. And now we can consume Thunderous Arcanum. 40% of excess damage and 80% of the damage of the dealt lightning damage will be stored in the thunder pool. The thunder pool. Releasing overcharged thunder will consume stored damage and deal an additional 50% true damage based on the total thunder pool amount. Listen, I'm just seeing damage and thunder and lightning pool and I am locked in on that. Let's go. That's the reason I took this. It's the reason I took the arcane ascensions seasonal event so purchasing from the peddler will decrease my damage but i'm really just looking for one thing and one thing only to be completely honest with you porcupine okay i don't think the boss changes unless you beat him right is not how it works in this game yeah so let's go ahead and beat the boss listen okay yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Look, look you had your time last time i'm close enough that this will work I am applying my asthma. Okay, we just have to find a way out of the of the big strikes. Look at that. Extra bounces coming in clutch there. Extra bounces, extra bounces. It's, it's increasing the amount of time that I have. I don't get to take damage from that. There we go. Lightning strike is easy to dodge. Summon some rocks, summon some rocks. Oh my gosh, it's too easy nowadays. Yeah, we're destined for greatness. Legend energy storage. Primary skill capacity plus one, but cooldown plus 30. I think that's fine. <laughs> I think that's absolutely fine. Arcane Jade, perfect. Oh, wait, so these Arcane Jades are actually kind of insanely broken. Minus 20 meters required movement distance for each enhanced prim primary skill. Return 50% after releasing energy. Wow, this is a lot... Um, I think I'm just gonna go for piercing lightning. <laughs> I really, it's just, it's a, that's, that's a lot for me. Okay, this might be our first reroll again. Let's see. Lightning from the void. Every crit has a chance to trigger chain lightning. Higher crit X increases the chance only one trigger per second. Supercharge, gain 20% max shield for five seconds after chain lightning deals damage and recharge six shield for each end chain lightning hit. That's perfect. No, we don't have to reroll. We can take our, we can take some defense and move on to tier two. What do they call it? Stages in this game? Yeah, it's, I think stages is a good name for it. Let's go to the next scene. Da -da -da -da. Into the desert we go. You can heal up visiting the spiritual remnant. We do not have to. Wait, no, no. you can heal up at the well. You can get more powers from the spiritual remnant. This might, I can't reroll them. That's tough. Let's see, armed caster plus 50% skill damage for every one crit X of the weapon held. That's wow. Okay. You can reroll all inscriptions of a weapon at the craftsman. Craftsmen can reroll each weapon up to three times. Reroll cost no copper. Lightning messenger after dealing damn dealing a crit hit, inflict shock effect to the inflicted enemies and all enemies within. Uh, I really wish I could reroll. I'm gonna go. I'm going to go for the Craftsman. Might be an un unpopular choice, but... This gives me a little bit more flexibility. Boom. What's the Thunderbolt start? Oh my gosh. It just... It's Jover. It's Jover. So it looks like that seasonal... 
Oh, okay, this is this guy's gonna be tough. Never mind, he's instantly gone. Looks like uh, the seasonal event thing goes off every once in a while. It's at zero stacks right now, but it's charging. There should be something around. This is a really big area. Yeah, let's go. Another elite equals more skills, more damage. That's what I'm looking for. Offense, defense, utility. Offense, defense, utility. And sometimes, and a lot of times, movement speed slash utility is even better than defense. So, obviously, we want more offense. Because if enemies are dead, they cannot do damage. This is a crazy concept. Okay. A porcupine. Yes, let's go. Porcupine. Now I get corrosive damage in massive pellets. Or it looks like it's... Did they nerf how many pellets it has? And I believe there's a better inscription to get than this one. Plus 65% total weapon damage against enemies and elemental effect. I'm not too sure if that's the best one you can get or not. Where's my chest? All right. But it, no, it looks like it still has all the pellets. Okay. Let's see. Corrosion damage. And immune to negative effects of... Ooh. That's kind of nice. Bullet bank or arcane jade. Let's go for corrosion shard. I am going to be doing some corrosion damage to my porcupine. So what triggers... So right now my, my arcane effect or my, my seasonal arcane ability has one charge when i activate my action skill something happens and i think it like it does something with those guys oh my gosh there we go that's lightning governor keeping my duration of my fatal current up for long periods of time and i have two charges now so i can clear entire stages very quickly i feel like porcupine applies a ton of corrosive dots in between so I just apply as many crystal dots as I can in between casts, and then the shot comes in and applies my asthma to everything. Oh, nice try, sniper. So just while I'm waiting for my cooldown, just apply some corrosion dots, and then my asthma just comes in, and the thunderbolts, obviously. Thunder for the thunder, lightning and the thunder. Let's go. Um, I think I'm gonna keep on upgrading. I'm going to do reroll inscriptions on this bad puppy. I want to I want to reforge. Oh, it's it's not Gemini. I see. Like I need to get my Gemini inscription. I will enhance, enhance. Reroll. Yes, Gemini. This is the one I think I want. Weapon 1 and 2 share their elemental advantages, and there's a chance to apply the element effect from the other weapon, which is perfect, because if I can get something on... This is, yeah, this is exactly what I want. Okay. And I will etch. I'm spending a lot of cash for this. But I'm going to... I don't want to reroll the weapon inscriptions. Reroll all weapon inscriptions, and this counts. I don't want to reroll that. Okay, let's go. So now, if I get a, if I get a Gemini weapon that is fire or shock, the porcupine will always apply fire or or, sh or fire or shock. Which is crazy. In slot two, let's go max shield. So right now, my slot two weapon's this one, but I want to get this Gemini inscription on this weapon, and I want the element of that weapon to be either fire. Or, or shock probably shock but they're both good so we're now we're always going to be on the lookout for those gemini inscriptions gain a weapon with at least one exclusive inscription no thanks how about i just get a, a box let's see dashing after being injured recovers 50 percent of the damage taken within one second oh my gosh that's crazy strong okay Bolt from the blue, baby. And we still haven't gotten the best, um, I would say the number one best gauntlet. Which is crazy to think about. Spread the, share the love. Share the love so that the last person remaining gets hit by the thunder. That's the whole point. Get some cross dots. Look at that miasma. Nine stacks, baby. 
Nine stacks off the rip wrap. You're gone. Oh my lord. Keeping an eye on the fatal current cooldown. When it's, when it's hitting the very bottoms, take the shot. Take the shot now. Nine stacks of miasma. Insta. Insta. It's not it's not fair. Porcupine is the best. With laid low. Which is really, really cool. Because you're the you're the character that has shock built in, right? That's the whole idea. The base character has corrosive damage built in. I don't know if, if any of the new characters have an element built in. I don't think there is a fire character. There's a poison and a shock character. And you want to be able to do those elemental crossover effects. That's the big part. All right, let's enhance our porcupine. It's not really that important to do it, but... Because Miasma does the majority of our damage, but it is nice. All right, Peddler, I can't buy from you. You'll lower my damage, so I love you, but I'll see you later. I'm so happy that it's not every time you... So let's just let's go ahead and take the shot here. Yeah. These guys are tough. The miasma, the miasma comes through. It's, that's what having an enhanced porcupine can do for you. So the porcupine, it's, it's left click. It's primary fire is a, a far away shot. But you have actually a close range bug shot as well. Which is cool. It's, it fires a little bit slower. Have this guy do his, do his attack as I'm running away from him. Stick, just sticking in Fatal Current for as long as I can, watching that, watching that duration, taking a shot the last second. Hopefully I got that off. Okay, just start figuring out who I'm going to target. This guy right here. Feel good about it. Feel very strong. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. there we go. You got, they have to stay bunched up. If they don't stay bunched up, I get way more damage from that Thunderbolt coming in. Thunder! So, there's a gauntlet over there. That's the most prized item in this entire game. Those gauntlets are so strong. All right, do the spin for the win. Bolt from the blue, baby. Mm, no bolt from the blue, but I do get level three Voltaic Aegis, which not only do I get, um, um, let's see more max shield and faster but i also get more stacks so i can it actually happens twice now so i get more damage resistance and more max shield kind of crazy actually so i'm not only do i do not only do i have lots of shield but i'm also tanky with base damage resistance let's get in there oh okay i have to defend this right or push it somewhere no defend it right i think it's defend right how does this work i do have to activate maybe i have to activate the box yep explore the seal is loose be careful monster wave incoming got it i'm ready for it i feel i feel i feel fairly powerful right now not, I'm not like goaded status because if the enemies are all bunched up and they're tanky, I'm not that powerful. But against enemies by themselves, I, I feel quite comfortable. I'm trying to build up that AoE. I'm trying to build up that AoE damage. But right now, I'm very much single target. Yeah, hopefully, I can. Yeah, I've got shock on this guy now. I've got shock on all these laddies. Take the shot, apply my asthma. Four stacks insta. If they don't want to get closer, that, that's fine. The objective is this way. They have to come to me. This is different than the usual fight. I'm not trying to push through them. I'm on defense, baby. I like that. Way Defense is way easier than offense in combat. Whoa, whoa. Slow down. Slow down there, partner. Oh my gosh, you got damage off. That's so sad. I think, I think they're shooting range attacks, though. I'm not going to get all caught up in that. Oh my gosh, see you later. Alright, see you four four. Let's go. Start dealing my own chain lightning damage. I'm very tanky. My shields are extremely big. Bye. G goodbye, my lads. Okay. They're gone. 
Dude, this gun is baller. Yeah, if I see that, I don't mind. Like, if a sniper wants to target the rock, I mean, that's just... It is what it is. I don't think it hurts me at all to have it take a little bit of damage. Okay, I can go for the Jade. Plus 50% max HP, minus 50% damage resistance. Recover 30% lost total HP each in each damage dealing. Mmm. I don't... It's a little bit strange. I'm not too sure. When hitting enemy, the 10% chance to deal 15% of the enemy's current HP is true damage. Yeah, that sounds like what I want to be doing. Boss Shred. Tank Shred. That's exactly what we want. We're still looking for that movement speed. So, so a couple more movement speed buffs, but... So far, our offense is pretty strong. Defense is pretty strong. I'm happy with where we're at. Let's keep pushing. So when my... I basically... When all of my files got deleted, I came back and I installed someone else's profile that had all the stuff that I had, except he didn't have any of my reincarnation eight um, progress, only reincarnation three, because that's when the file, I think reincarnation three was like the max reincarnation when he made the file. And he also did not have access to the, the, the one gun that everyone was grinding for. I forgot the name of it. I think the demon lore or something like that where it was like it's just like a fire gun but i didn't have it either i didn't kill with enough lobsters and i don't think this account has it so don't just feel too bad about it but the one thing that really sucks is all my best times all my best lay low times on reincarnation 8 are gone forever like i all my progress all my i still have my achievements on steam so i can prove some of the stuff i'm saying but a lot of my a lot of my cool information on my hero stats page is, is gone forever, which is extremely sad. Let's just not get pinned back here. What do you say? Desert Titan? Yeah, get my asthma. You're gone. Okay. So yeah, that's me, and that's got Fire Reborn. <laughs> Love this game. Like all the characters, I, I, I don't. I wouldn't say like every single character is my favorite. <clears throat> Lelo is clearly my favorite, at least this playstyle. Because this playstyle to me is like the easiest, right? I don't have to really do very much. Now, hopefully, we can start getting some more deeps, like chain lightning damage up. Thunderbolt damage as well would actually kind of go kind of hard. I think those are both things that I can get. There we go. Apply some corrosive dots while we wait. That's what that's what makes the porcupine so good is that it gives you something to do in your downtime. Okay, I could always put a Gemini inscription on like any gun, but it would have to be. I would want it to be fire or. Shock. I'm thinking I'm going to do shock for a uh, guaranteed miasma tank shred with my gun. So that way, every time I shoot my porcupine, I'm like guaranteed tank shred. But having the confusion is kind of nice too. I think shock and fire is explosive though, right? Shock and fire might be explosive. I forgot what it actually is. But being able to do all three elements is something I also want to be able to do. So it's kind of a tough choice. Did I miss anything back here? A peddler or, or something? No. Doesn't look like it. I, kinda, I would like to fight some more of the enemies. Quicksand trap. Traps will be spawned beneath the hero once in a while. Got it. Good thing I always keep moving. Ooh, that's a lot of damage. Let's go ahead and start applying some corrosive down on this guy, and that way when our shock damage traps coming back through, we'll get my asthma on him. That should be enough to kill him. So I'm not doing the newest event that came out, and I, I figured I would... There's some new DLC that dropped for this game. I figured if I, if I could push through the new content and stuff like that with the... And the new content that I haven't experienced, right? I haven't experienced this arcane scroll shenanigans that's going on. 
So if I can get a feel for like at least lay low, come back, and like slowly get myself back into it, I might reward myself with a purchase of the DLC. I don't know if we're gonna make it there, but I'm having like when it comes to just pure fun roguelite fun, like I don't know. It's just this game has a lot to offer. I'm telling you, do not take that shot, homie. It's something that you're gonna want to be doing. Let's get this corrosive dot going. Try to get a shock dot. Didn't get it. Hey guys. I'm not really taking much damage, to be honest with you. To be completely honest with you, no one's really causing me any problems. They just damaged my shield, but my shield's so big. Alright, let's see it. Both in the blue, please. We do get both in the blue, which is sick. Okay. Plus three seconds of my fatal current duration. And grants an additional 50% skill damage. Amazing. While Fatal Current is active, every time you trigger a shock effect, you will summon a Thunderbolt to strike the affected enemy. So that's why the Lightning Stats effect is the best. That being said, we can try to get Elemental Stats effects um, ourselves. We're going to be hopefully dealing some good Thunderbolts. But when it comes to overall late game DPS, yes. The, the other enhancement is better. The one that in increases our chances to apply status effect chance. But to get to this point, I kind of felt... I kind of felt as though I kind of wanted the extra damage. And it was right there, so I took it. I wanted to try something else. Okay. Besides, it'll help us it, to be far. I think it'll be... Uh, even better in boss fights because I'm uh, it's always gonna be hitting an enemy that is It's always gonna be hitting one enemy. Well, if, as, it looks like I might have a cooldown. Not too sure. Let's get some miasma going now. Hopefully Okay Yep, oh yeah, that's hurting that's hurting him a lot. Holy cow yeah, That didn't hurt that didn't feel too good for you All right, so when it comes to these these are a lot to understand was 30 percent damage to enemies struck by overcharged thunder um i want to get them to three stars as a natural as a natural thing elemental damage when triggering elemental effect it will be passed to an enemy by random enemy perfect okay so we do have this is the demon lord gun okay so i think this account does the demon lord gun unlocked which is something that i don't feel good about because i never unlocked it right Here we go, the fire dragon. Perfect. This is this is why we, we have it. This this one has the Gemini I'm looking for. So now my porcupine will apply fire as well as corrosive. Okay, so I think here we go to Tesla Coil, more bounce, and more max capacity for my spell. But now we've got fire damage, which is sick. How do we get out of here this way? Alright. Let's go to the next scene. Hoping to get a little bit lucky from Mushroom Man here. Let's see. A Craftsman Inheritor. Costs no copper when upgrade, reforge, etch, reroll of the Craftsman. But you get... Oh wow, that's a lot of negative effects. You will not be killed when your HP is reduced to zero. Instead, you will enter a 10 second fake death state. Killing an enemy within this duration will end the state and make you invulnerable for 3 seconds. Cooldown 45 seconds. Oh my gosh! Field proficiency, lucky shot chance, da um, skill, skill cooldown. Now I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go the the fight for my life. I'm a Borderlands player. I want fight for my life. Let's go. Forty five seconds is a, is is. I mean, I'm sure people say like it's fair. I think it's very much uh, player sided. That that seems like a really short cooldown for how powerful that effect is. Oh, now, bum, 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 boom, bum, boom. You see that? This is craziness. Let's go fight ourselves in elite. So I would be getting thunder on all these people every time I get the shock effect. Shock effect, and I do. But it would be a little bit more consistent. So now we got fire and corrosive. Which, I might be, that might be like a slow or like a root or something. I'm not too sure. Oh, all the elemental effects. They should be turning on each other now when I do that. He's not turning on his on his friend. Making me mad about it. 
all the elemental effects. Holy cow. Arrogant lobster. This is people we need to kill for the demon lore. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't, don't do that to me. Bye, lobster man. Elite catfish were. Listen, buddy. You, you stumbled on the wrong. <laughs> you, you came to the wrong party, bro. Wrong party. Because we're getting a lot of these elemental uh, type advantage Gemini's. Okay, there's corrosion, but we don't need corrosion because the pork grind already has it. Let's see here. We can take the jade. Elemental enthusiast. Or lightning enthusiast. Whenever you inflict a shock effect to enemies, also inflict shock on yourself. When you're a shock, plus 75 lightning damage. Let's take lightning enthusiast. I think that sounds exactly like what we want. Holy cow. Hopefully all those guns get auto-recycled. We can see upon leaving the stage if they do. I was at 1352. I'm still at 1352. How could you do this to me? Alright, bring it on. You got more lobsters? Oh my gosh, they just instantly die. Later. Elite invasion. Let's go. Elite catfish warrior. Hi, bro. I'm telling you, you that's all I have to do is start shooting. You're going to get shredded. The only reason I'm not shooting you is because I want some more AoE damage. I, I, I think both... I think both of the... Both of the enhancements that you get to choose in the beginning, both the, the, the thunder strike when you only hit one enemy and the one that summons a thunderbolt or that doubles your shock chance, I think they're both good, to be fair. The, the extra shock chance might be a little bit more min-maxed, but as you saw in this one, I didn't get both in the blue until like st stage three, you know? That's like that's tough. Like that's a lot of enemies to get through. And I actually went down one time. If it wasn't on reincarnation, the run would be over. And that's just I know it's a skill diff, but but still. I might not ever take the demon lore in any of my runs just because it's like I I didn't earn it, you know, it's not a gun that I earned. Offer an occult scroll, hand out three occult scrolls, obtain a a random no. I can't. My occult scrolls are too valuable. Well, can I choose? I can choose. Okay. Let's do... Wow, I have a lot of good scrolls. Wow, my scrolls... My scrolls are... <clears throat> top notch. So I don't think I'm going to be... Doing that just for one enhanced. No thanks. All right, gauntlet me, goblet me. Okay, so Tesla coil. I get more bounces. If chain and if it causes shock effects, players get one more usage immediately. That's pretty cool. When casting fatal current or when the skill expires, summon a thunderbolt to strike on up to three random enemies within twenty meters. It is good. It's kind of better for early game. Um, Heart of the Battle is probably something I, I at this point, I kind of want. But I already have decent cooldown. Oh, man, this is a tough choice. I'm going to do more bounces and more Chain Lightning max capacity. Let's just get it maxed out. Get that level, get that tier 3 skill. You can't go wrong with it. We're just going to have so many bounces. It's going to be... The more bounces, the more chance we have for shock. And once we clear out all the enemies, whoa! Once we clear out all the enemies, then the last enemy, any enemy that's not um, spreading our shock effect around, will. How many pulses does this actually shoot? I think it shoots three. Pretty inaccurate, but when it bounces, it's crazy. So that last enemy that's not connected is going to get hit by a thunderbolt, regardless. And I'm getting immediate usage. I'm getting a whole bunch of Fatal Current back. The Porcupine is simply here for the... Um, for the boss rotation. Everybody loves a little boss rotation. Just like that. Okay, Elite Lobster. 
Let's just go ahead and get a shock effect and then stack my ass with a nine and then watch it burn. It, it really, it, it really is just that easy. Like, I'm serious. I take it all. You cannot discard all scrolls, but variable op options in mysterious chests will be selectable. Let's go. Let's get our. Oh, what is that? Is this, this got to be a new gun? A brick. That is so funny. You know what? Yeah, we're done with fire. Let's just go instant miasma. So now that we have this brick, after a crit hit, a starlight drops when picked up. At the next attack, with crit hit with higher. Crit. This is crazy. This thing. Okay, so now it's it's shock damage. So the shock damage from this weapon will apply to my porcupine, applying nine stacks of miasma almost instantly without ever having to get a, a lucky. Uh, a lucky shock effect. It's basically guaranteed boss shred now. This is when I'm starting to enter like a little bit of the, you know, I can't die mode. But we'll see. You never know. Just stay in fatal current for as long as possible, casting your chain lightnings. As fa not like as fast as you can, but basically as fast as you can. I can't discard the scroll that gives me minus damage from the peddler. I feel like a lot of these guns might be worth it, but don't buy from the peddler. I want my skill damage. So you notice how my original skill damage isn't that high. When I'm zapping them, isn't that high, but it's it's the effects that are caused from it. I don't want to curse scroll. Request to upgrade inscriptions to replace a normal random with a selected rare inscription. That's great. Okay. Oh, and I get to upgrade a weapon by level one by one. That's crazy. Thank you. But it does not let me jump over that railing. Yeah, the the one thing in this game is the movement is is very basic. You walk, you jump, and you dash. Right. That that's the that's the epitome of it. And it's very much focused on the enemies, right? Oh, that that guy almost hooked me in. Which I, which I can respect. So yes, the, so the more chain lightnings we deal out, the more we'll be shocking enemies and the, and the more damage from thunderbolts we will be dealing. Could you stop it? Get my asthma. Look at nine stacks. Like we have, we have just a complete boss shredder now. All right, let's get two inscriptions. Let's get third inscription. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No matter what, we're getting nine stacks, my ass. <laughs> nine stack, my ass. Golden goblet. I can choose, right? These are none of these are good, and I don't have a reroll. Let's do each stack of thunder of thunder turbo grants five percent weapon and skill damage up to eight stacks. Gain one stack after killing enemy the crit. Now, I think we just go for this skill damage here. It is what it is. I thought I could choose from multiple. Oh, I thought I could. I'm not too sure. Maybe it's only a thing on the the snow stage. I'm not that. I'm not sure about. Oh my gosh, see you later. What is what happens there? Look at this porcupine. It's so cute. Mine's a lot better than that one. Good night. So I, I do have some basic knowledge of this game, as as you can probably tell. It's episode one, right? I have some basic knowledge. I know about Gemini inscriptions, I know uh, some of the builds. This build is not this this one I would say is not one that I came up with myself. <laughs> I have come up with a few builds myself and I just kinda like to play naturally, but back in the day when you're interested, you watch YouTube videos, people that know what they're talking about. And this was a build that someone mentioned, you know, being like kinda fun and cool to play, and I And I've taken it and I mean I and I agree with all the decisions in it, so you still have to play the game and like take the skills and know how to prioritize there's still like your own personal knowledge involved like what decisions are actually important and there's there's enough variance in the game that you don't it's like no one can play your run for you right so this is actually really nice. this is actually a great stage to get for a great time when you're farming for the demon lore because you get to kill lobsters I think I was like well on my way to getting the lobsters too. I think I had like like less than 10 to kill. And I lost all my progress. Look at that. Boom, boom, boom. Look at the range on that. 
We're getting, we're, it's, it's getting there. It's getting there. That's just, in, that's just incredible. Let's get our goblet and then go fight the elite. Goblet me. My Thunder Nemesis or Fate Heart of Battle. I'm gonna go. Thing is, we don't need all the initial thunder. But level three in it's really good, but the chances of us getting level three in it at this point is not that great. But we'll take it. It's, it's, it's more damage. It's quite a bit more damage. And maybe we'll get to tier three on it, hopefully. I mean, we can try to get a goblet from, from our boy, the elite enemy. Get okay, a little bit closer. The thunder calls down. See that? See how like the thunder strikes when it calls down? Thing is, you don't, uh, you don't get those thunder strikes unless the ability ends. So it's on start and end. And I'm, I'm kind of specced into having longer uptime. You know. So because I have longer uptime, I'm getting less effective with that skill. Really great for the beginning of the game. So every time you, every time you press the ability, start and end, get more damage. Completely understand. Let's just go ahead and get nine stacks miasma, and then go back to into our effect here to make sure we maintain the shock effect. Okay, reinforced eggshell, and do we get a goblet? Doesn't look like it. That's tough. Reinforced eggshell. Plus 15% damage resistance when your shield and armor is not zero. Minus damage resistance, so we want the extra damage resistance. That's crazy. That's awesome. So our shield is always, uh, always up. The fewer bullets in the magazine, the higher weapon damage. No thanks. Recover 1% max HP and 5% ammo of the current used weapon whenever you deal unpetal effects. Okay, so a little bit of um, HP regen. Take. We definitely take. Reincarnation 1 is going to be pretty easy. But I want to push. I think I want to push through all the reincarnations, one through eight, with all the characters. Might be reincarnation ten now or something. And then maybe play a DLC character or two. Okay, don't buy from the peddler. This fight is pretty simple. Let's hopefully I can do this clean and not take too much damage. Oh, never mind. It's the Leviathan fight. That's tough. It's not even the pirate ship. Never mind. The, this fight is not simple at all. Oh, it is the pirate ship. Okay, not not Leviathan. Very cool. Yeah, then we just if it's pirate ship, we just we just absolutely devastate this guy. Okay, we look for where the guy spawns. He spawns over here. Give me that bow. Use artillery to break the barrier. Wait for the next cannon shot, then simply step to the left. I still I took damage. I should have dashed, but it is what it is. Figure out where the where the uh, vulnerable cannons are. Shoot them, and the guy should spawn on the opposite side. No, he's right there. Grab that. I'm pretty quick, so it's hard for him to hit me. Fire! These two. He's like, oh, now you messed up. Here comes the big cannon, but our ship can't float anymore. So we're just gonna stay in this mode for a second and hopefully apply a shock effect. And then hope, and then try to apply my asthma. Kill this launch octopus. He goes down in a, in a heartbeat. It always drops the bomb, which ends the immunity phase. It's just that easy. Reincarnation won. Now, it counts as a victory, but but we're gonna go to the to the snowman. Let's see, masterful craftsmanship. Acquired weapons always have two exclusive inscriptions. The maximum number of exclusive inscriptions is fixed at two, and the total inscription upper limit is fixed at four. Cannot be discarded. That's fine. Um, let's take dash cooldown and lightning bolts. Okay. And we got a goblet. Very cool. So we do get Thunder Nemesis 2. I could take more chain lightning damage, but I think Thunder Nemesis 2. If I can get to if I can get the Thunder Nemesis 3 then all that stuff about it not being synergistic is is washed away. Because then I will be summoning Thunderbolts every 1.5 seconds. The spiritual remnant ignores me. Bro, I'm sorry. 
I didn't mean to hurt you. Okay. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. These penguins are dangerous, though. We've got to be careful. Let's go ahead and summon some thunderbolts. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Ooh, fake death. Okay. I don't want to curse scroll. How did I take so much damage? Fake death has a 45 second cooldown. Wow, that what an entry to the new zone, right? Me being cocky like I can't die. No, you can definitely die, bro. 45 second cooldown. Is there a bar for it? Can't. Yeah, there is. I see it. It's on the right side, underneath my, underneath my, my skills there. There we go. I want to be careful. I don't want to get caught up in too big of an engagement. Go ahead and spread some miasma around. Give us a little bit of damage in between. Mountain guard. Holy bear. Let's go. Those mountain guards look sick. Something one shot me. I got to be more careful and more vigilant. Okay. Zappity zap zap. Kung Fu Monkey, goodbye. Oh, the chain lightnings are sick. Don't let the sniper get me. Getting, doing pretty well damage wise. It's not very quick. I'm very vulnerable. I'm very much like a spellcaster right now. Darth City is action. I'm low. <laughs> Anybody out there? <laughs> Alright, demon aura. Enemies explode after being defeated. Got it. Stay at a distance. Understood. Looking for a, a an elite wall that I can go through or something. I don't have any max HP regen going on right now. It's a tiny, tiny bit. I could use some buns. Did you go down? Thank you. Oh, I need to take out that... That flying saucer enemy. I remember these guys being public enemy number one. Public enemy number one, those guys. Okay, let's get some miasma on this guy. Oh, yeah. Our, my, even, like, just my, my pure gun damage build. You can get this pure gun damage build on any character if you just grab a porcupine. Or a pupil. The pupil's a very similar... It's not... It, the gun behaves very differently, but it's a shotgun. It's shock, and you can abuse Gemini with it the same way, just by adding corrosive from your secondary. So. Dragon breath. That's pretty sick. Yay, buns. Thank you. Okay, we have an elite. And we should have a goblet. Okay. Okay. Magical supply. If you sh if your shot in fatal current kills the target, refund the ammo spent and recast fatal current with the thirty percent duration. Not exactly what I was looking for, but it's that's the way the ice stage goes. You don't really get to choose your skills. Keep casting. We're fine. They're melee. If they were ranged, they wouldn't be as tanky. I have 13 stacks of my of my secondary use, so I'm, I can just keep using it all the time. I don't think I'll ever run out. And even if I do, I have I have area effect my asthma in the form of the porcupine. Whoa, you're the guy. You're the guy doing it, I think. Hey, get rid of the flying saucer. Public enemy number one, those flying saucers. Can I land a shot or no? What's going on here? There we go. Let's back off for a second. Anybody around? Hey, there's an elite. Oh, or it's, it's something. It's a fight. Okay, all enemies explode. Got it. Look at that. Just pure damage. I know it's reincarnation one, but still. Later, homies. Back it on up, back it on up. It's the one thing that's a little bit tough about this build 
is that you don't really want crit damage, right? You don't really necessarily care about crit damage because your, your chain lightning isn't critting. Right, so do you have a lot of skills as Lay though that involve critical strike chance and critical strike damage and all that stuff and it's like I'm happy for you like if I cared about it I, I would care about it but I just don't with this build so sometimes you get a little bit unlucky with these goblets and, and things so and you end up getting you know bonus crit damage and all this kind of other stuff that you don't really care about whoa whoa, whoa okay 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 just get some chain lightning going get my shield back can I get some bones please Okay, I got one shot by something. Could have been the demonic aura that people had around them exploding. Plus 50% damage that while in the air. That is perfect. Perfect. It's a universal damage boost and all I have to do to activate it is jump. Holy cow. And I can dash to increase my, my jump duration. Look at that. Elemental or universal damage boost, but uh, fighting uphill, I'm a little bit worse. Keep jumping, jump backwards. Oh yeah, yes. Oh, he's right top of me. Oh gosh, he was immortal, I think. We got some sort of shield going. Hi, right, bud. Oh, flying saucer. Pretty you. We're gonna fight. We're gonna fight the snowman. It's going to happen. Okay. Etch me. We're gonna enhance it as much as we possibly can. You want a nice, strong porcupine. Oh, but, oh, there's nothing wrong with having a good, strong base damage. Person, I think having strong base damage is a good thing. <laughs> But you don't really need it, to be honest with you. Look, my asthma does a lot of the work for you. Let's get, let's get 550 for a normal gift box. Okay. I need to get a little bit more max HP now to get some more skill damage, but the skill damage isn't really what's important, I don't think. What's important is that I keep jumping. <laughs> and the imprisonment effect is super nice, to be honest with you. Oh my goodness. Let's go. We're, we're, we're in the late game now, lads. Like, I'm taking damage, but I'm healing. My shield is regening a lot. Did you stop hitting me? All I had to do was hit him with one chain lightning and he drops the guy. All right, Peddler, what you got for me? Nope, doesn't look like anything in here. There's a nice porcupine with two inscriptions. Each projectile hit an enemy, 1.2 basic weapon damage. Wow, it would even fire even more projectiles. That's kind of a that's kind of a crazy devil weapon inscription, but mine's 15 levels above it. So I think it's gonna be better. Supercharge, gain 30 mech shield for six seconds after chain lightning deals damage and recharge eight shield for each chain lightning hit. That's perfect. Absolutely perfect. Alright, Chaos Realm, the final stage. Okay, porcupine me. And I think this is where we fight our man Snow Bear, right? Okay. Oh, this isn't Snow... This is not Snow Bear. This is not Snow Bear. This is Void Sumo. His name is Gluttony? How fast can I kill him, though, is the question. How fast can he kill me? We're doing some good deeps to him. Is he immune? You have invincibility. I gotta figure out why and how... Okay, stay behind the rock, I guess, for now. And I'm guessing also don't get hit by that thing. All right, let's apply some some boss red here. Oh, I'm inside of I'm inside of a very bad thing. Luckily, I'm insanely tanky. Okay, I think I just stand behind the rock for that attack, and I'm good. What's the next attack? Pay attention to avoid. Got it. Pay attention to what? Okay, yep, yep, understood, understood. Yep, I completely get it. And by get it, I mean, I don't know what just happened to me, but I'm one health now. Stand behind the rock. 
Okay, he's pretty low. Nice. Okay, only one health bar. Oh my goodness. Okay, that was reincarnation eight. I think I die. But hey, reincarnation one. Reincarnation one complete. Let's get on out of here. Let's go. Show me my reward. Show me my my new my new PB for reincarnation one. Let's go. That was one heck of a run. Gotta love the lay low. Gotta low, lay low, low. Teleport back to the end. Chaos Realm, Reincarnation 1. Challenge success. 47 minutes and 48 seconds. That was a great run. Had a lot of fun doing it. Anyways, thank you all very much for watching. If you enjoyed, hit the like button. Subscribe to see more videos like this one. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.